The bell seems to ring a little better here. I don't know why, or maybe I'm just hitting it a little bit harder these days. Um, my last opportunity to get it in the open us today, so a little bittersweet there. But um, it's good to see everybody. Um, hope you're having a wonderful day thus far. I'd like for David Snap to uh, have a little prayer for us. Thank you, David. Let us pray. God, you are awesome. You are amazing in so many ways. Just the things that you can do that we can only imagine. You gave us your son Jesus down to this earth to take away our sins, and we're so thankful for that. Lord, we thank you for the leadership this past year of the of the of Jared and the board. We thank you for the opportunities to serve. We thank you for all the blessings and the trials and all the, the wonderful things as well as all the, the tough things that we had this past year. We thank you just for waking us up today. God, we know there's times that we've fallen short as your servant, and we've not only not grown close to you, but we've just moved a little bit further away. We ask that every time that we have the chance that you just pull us a little bit closer so that we can show your glory to other people who may not know you, Lord. We ask for peace in this world. We ask for humble hearts to serve the community. We ask you, God, if there's healing that needs to be done throughout this community, that you be with those who need healing with their families and with their loved ones. God, we ask that we do something today and every day to just bring people closer to you who don't know you and their part. Thank you for sending your son, Jesus, to take away our sins, his sacrifice. We love you, God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, David. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic of which it stands, one nation under God. Into this ball, liberty and justice. Tom, let's do it. We've got some words in here, I believe. This is the right song. I hope it is. A little blurry, but hopefully you know it. Also, in your bullets. Nancy declined to play today because she'd have to do it out there. You know, that wouldn't be good. But I think we can do this, relatively speaking, in a cappella. So let's see what we do. Oh, to the be we me once to all <laughs> Does not look like we have anyone um, joining us on Zoom at this point. This is our honors, and we have any visitors up here. Mr. President, we have no visitors in the Thank you, sir. Thank you for being the best sergeant of arms this past year that we've had. Nobody better than you just said. Thank you. Um, we have visitors of Rotarians. I will introduce my guests later, but are there any other guests here? Okay. Announcements. Um, Mrs. Lane wanted me to announce that the next Mills of Grace will be July the 11th. Because of the week of the 4th, we will not have another meeting before then. What do you need? People to help. So please, as soon as possible, reach out to the lane if you can help for that Meals of Grace. Lane. Mary Jane. Jane. So help, she said. Thank you, Mary Jane. One more, we should pray. One more person, at least. Uh, should, should we auction that right now? No. Please let, uh, let Lane know if you can help with that. He was great. Lane, thank you as always for your leadership with that. Um, worthy, worthy calls and event that we do. My understanding is that when Rotary serving meals of grace, that most people show up because of the food. So, a good thing. Thank you. Um, 
Please make sure you're looking through all the other announcements in the bulletin. I'm not going to go over all those. Uh, obviously, some, always there's things coming up. Um, Tommy, you want to say anything about Pinch House Music Series? Uh, it's all going. We've got a great event uh, last Saturday night. Just thanks again to all the sponsors and those who wrote the talent. But we're rolling on. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for you guys doing that. Um, Thursday, June 29th, Coffee Connections here at the Women's Club. So if you're able to join that, please do so. Any other announcements from the floor? Here, if yes, I could, um, July 29th, we'll be doing the next, or, or Parks and Rec will be doing the next uh, cooking class for kids as part of our Children to Play initiative. Um, Saturday, July 29th, from 9 to 12. The cooking will be led by um, Rotary Zone Steve Teg Teglis, um, how to cook fast food that's also healthy. Um, and we're looking for volunteers to help with that. It's a great event. They usually have, you know, how many kids? 25, something like that. And uh, and so it's good to have maybe four or five Rotarians to help with that. That's something that we sponsored the food for. Um, and so if you if you can volunteer, if you'll let me know, I'd appreciate it. Thank you, Lee Jane. PJ. Yes. <laughs> Just want to thank everybody that might have been strolling downtown on North Carolina Main Street came by to, to uh, evaluate our community. We presented ourselves as well as we could have. I don't think we could have done any better. It was great. We, it happened to be on a Tuesday. Farmer's Market was open. We walked through. And then we saw um, Corey and Molly had some kids coming through uh, that had been to the farmer's market. They were all excited. And they were telling uh, the folks from North Carolina Main Street, they were they have been my best friend. I didn't know these kids, but it was awesome. And so they were like, so we just kind of went into the two morning. We visited you know, several different places downtown. Uh, I, I think we did all we can do. We are ready to make this move. Now, whether we're selected or not, we won't know until July. But I don't. I don't think we could present ourselves any better, and I, I think we're setting up for all that. Yeah. Council's ready. Now they might not be ready for that. But we're ready. We're going to move forward anyway. Yeah. Well, appreciate your. We are going to talk to. Awesome. And they haven't told us that they're going to select one or two. They used to select. They have in the past select three to four, but they're going they're back. Um, they spend a lot of time in their community. Well, tons, tons of opportunity there. Um, thank you for thank you for your leadership. If anybody can, can move that forward to you, no pressure. But thank you, thank you for that. Um, Amy, if you can make your way forward, you know, come on, come on up here, Why, Heather? If you'll go ahead and do a uh, split the pot. Okay. So there is a thousand ninety in the pot, thirty-seven cards, and. So this one is uh, four, seven, three. What you say last words? Um, so that's seven, that other four, seven, three, key. So, so I'm going off script today. I feel like if I go off script now, you will teach me so what? Um, so off script a little bit today. Uh, there's several things that are actually in the bulletin, and it's simply on our agenda today. So we call that and really tell Ken, it's not her fault. Um, first, I want to recognize um, and present this to Amy. Uh, so you know, yeah, I got the right one. Amy Boozer here, Paul Harris fellow. So our newest Paul Harris fellow in our fellow, Amy. This says Amy Phillips Boozer is here by name of Paul Harris fellow in appreciation of tangible and significant assistance given for the furtherance. A better understanding and friendly relations among peoples of the world. So welcome as a Paul Harris fellow. <laughs> so please wear that proudly. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mary Jane.
Um, it is my pleasure to welcome um, a couple of my guests here today. So, Miss Kylie Marvel and her grandmother Debbie are here. Kylie, come on up. Kylie just attended Ryla. So, this is the young lady who we sponsored, in addition to one other person who was from another part. Um, I'm so proud of Kylie. She uh, she's the daughter of my ex-wife, and so she lived with me for a while. And I've seen her grow up to this this wonderful young lady she is today. She has a very bright future. And I'm just going to let her tell you guys a little bit about what she experienced at Ryla. And I told her you guys can ask her some questions. So Kylie, thank you for coming. Thank you for going to Ryla. Tell us about it. Thank you for inviting me. So on the first day, I was. So nervous. Like I was a nervous wreck. I was so quiet. And if you know me, I'm not a quiet person at all. So um we played some games to like kind of get to know each other because we're all from like different areas. Like I was meeting people from an hour and a half away, and some people who didn't even go to North Carolina. Crazy. So um we played some games to like get to know each other and how we think. So like we could all work together as a team. Which actually was amazing whenever we were working together as a team when we were, like, for example, my group, when we went to go um, do backpacks for kids, um, we know who to, like, kind of, like, be more, like, like, more, more easier to, because, like, someone could be more um, emotional and have their toe feelings more, you just got to be gentle on them, and, um, like, stuff like that. So we got to work, like I said, at Backpacks for Kids. Um, I helped with um, putting food and bags for kids to go home on the weekends. So they had, like, for after school, uh, they can just send them home. And I had food over the weekend until they returned um, to school on Monday. Um, later that, that was on Friday. And later that evening, we ended up working with, um, some, like, Prevent Hunger. And we ended up bagging up food for, um, Kids at uh, you know, boarding schools, so then they can have food um, at school and not have to worry about having to take their food, having to choose between going to school and having food that day. Um, the next day we had, uh, which was Saturday, we ended up having such a fun time doing like classes. Yeah, it's summer. Why are we in classes? Yeah. Um, we took some etiquette classes. We got some games of like, what would you do in this situation? Like, would you leave someone behind? Or would you be a leader and draw and bring everyone together? It was really amazing experience of showing how to be a leader. Like I learned so much. Like I was the person that was like, okay, well, we'll leave these people behind. We'll take them. But I got to like learn how to like cooperate with different people and how they think. So it was really amazing. On our last day, we ended up finding out a lot about each other. As you say before, like I was with the girls, of course. So. And you stay with these people for four days, you don't know how much y'all all have in common until we played like this really big game of like, if you like are in this group or if you feel this way or something like that, you come up and you just express everything you feel about that. It was really amazing. And I honestly believe that a bunch of teenagers that have had this opportunity to go to Ryla because they can learn a little bit more about what's going on in their community and around the world. And instead of just what's going on in their living room. Like, so I have this really thank you guys so much for sponsoring me today. What was the formal dance? Formal? The formal dance. So we had a formal dinner. Um, it was like to basically recognize like everything that we've done, and we had even some. Groups from different country groups um, come up. <laughs> Where are we taking out? Uh, um, Oak Ridge Military Academy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What grade are you in? Huh? What grade are you in? I'm in 11. I'll be going to 11th grade. Okay. Holly's going to ASP next week in Kentucky. And right. also uh, a Bible camp the week after that. And what is a lifeguard? Yes, sir. At the YMCA, I think, and founders. Is that right? Yes. So, very involved. I, I really appreciate you guys sponsoring her. So, obviously, great experience. I think that you texted me saying you wanted to go back as a counselor in one day. Or so, there you go. Yeah. 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 
So um, before we get to the installation of officers, which I know that um, Kim can't wait to do, but she's, she graciously agreed to do that for me. And this will be the last day as uh, assistant governor, um, which you got, I, I'm just going to talk about that for a second. A lot of you know how much Kim means to, means to our club and how all she does. But then she also lets us with the district as assistant governor. So it's just really, I don't know how you find how to do it, but I'm glad that you do. Um, I want to show this video real quick. Hopefully it will pull up. Um, keeping with the thing, it doesn't really matter if you impeach me now. So <laughs> if you get any of this thing, you know that watch your show me this. Hopefully it makes sense by the end of it. So let's see if this thing works. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we for a No one's ever been in peace. Trying to get it. Trying to get it. <laughs> Let's see here. There we go. When your president is that, your We're here to figure out people actually know what Road Rage is. Hold on. Let me get the no. volume right. Oh, so Road Rage falls. Here we go. Volume. <laughs> Hi, I'm a member of Rotary. We're here to figure out who actually know what Rotary is. Tell me, what is Rotary? A Rotary phone? Uh, no. uh, tickets. Is that a Rotary phone? More in rotisserie chicken. Tell me, what is Rotary? Is it, what are you getting documents, Sam? You've been notarized. Let me ask you this. What do you think of when you hear rotary? Well, I'll tell you what I think. You go on your doll over <laughs> and then your toilet gets clogged. So then you have to call the leader guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what rotary is? Is it like a club? Yeah, yeah, it's just like a club. You know what kind of club? I picture a bunch of old stuffy men sitting around. <laughs> <laughs> now let's ask an actual Rotarian what Rotary truly is. When I first moved to the area, I didn't know a lot of people and I didn't have many friends. But then when I joined Rotary, I gained friends, a community, and even a family. To me, Rotary is about being part of our community. Rotary has contributed over half a million dollars to places like our local zoo. It's things like this playground. There is nothing here before. And now it's something everyone can enjoy. My favorite part of Rotary is learning something new every week, straight from the top leaders in our community. I go to Rotary feeling stressed out from work. And leave feeling energized and empowered. Rotary is about impact on a local, national, and global scale. Like this ballpark for children with special needs. And helping new Americans learn English in this classroom. Oh yeah, did I mention that Rotary is working around the world on thousands of projects, such as eradicating polio and providing clean drinking water for millions of people. Rotary is our friends, neighbors, and problem solvers. Share ideas, join a leader, and take action to create lasting change. Oh. To find out more, visit fmrotaryclubs.org. Yeah. Yeah. So, my cousin. Actually joined this Fargo Rotary Club two weeks ago, and as I was um, preparing for today, what might be my last remarks as president for you guys, I wanted to uh, kind of go back to um, why do we do this and why does it matter? And I thought that kind of that video with some humor in the beginning as well, but also encompassed a lot of what we do and why we do it. Even though that's in Fargo and we're in Thomasville. Obviously, you saw, I hope, a lot of similarities of things that we do in this community and beyond. And one of the things that I've really tried to do 
throughout this past year was remind ourselves of our connection beyond Thomasville with Rotary International. And I hope I succeeded at that um, and just keeping that on the forefront of our minds that, yeah, we're doing a lot of wonderful things here. It's impactful and important. But don't forget that as a Rotarian, we're all connected and involved in so many other things across the world um, that's important, such as eradication of polio, clean water initiatives, literacy <laughs> uh, initiatives, et cetera. So just, just don't forget that. Um, and just to kind of remind you of some of the things that we've done this year. And I realize that a lot of these things are somewhat status quo for lack of a better term, or just what we do from year to year. But it matters. So, for instance, our membership, um, we have a lot of new members this year, a lot of younger folks that we should all be excited about. I would like for our diversification to increase a little bit more, but new members, younger members is always wonderful. Blood drive, Larry, thank you for your leadership with that. Um, and I know that when I start doing this, I won't forget somebody or something, and it's dangerous. But I just want to kind of go through some other things. But the food insecurities in our community that we address, scholarships, we've been supportive and advocates of community agencies by having so many folks in this room and outside of Thomasville and, and around the agency county come and talk about what they're doing and we figure out how we can support those. Ryla, we saw Kylie and heard what she had to say. Derby and golf tournament, we did something very different this year. And I realized there were some people that were anxious about that. But if you look at the bottom line, that's what matters with the fundraiser, huge success. Um, parties in the park, everybody's day. Been reminded to, to, of our connection to Rotary International Initiative, as, as I mentioned. The public image grant allowed us to get the, the new signage up at the brick column at the uh, railroad tracks. Um, the water fountain in Myers Park. And I can go on and on. I know there's things that I'm not mentioning. But none of this stuff happens without you guys. I know I'm supposed to say that, but I'm sincere about that. And so thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, I feel like uh, I've definitely grown this year. And so I thank you for that opportunity. Um, it's, I can't get emotional with this. But, um, it takes time from your family, from your business, but it's worth it. And, um, I just thank you all for the opportunity. It's a big deal. <laughs> it's uh, somewhat I look to a mentor for Byron to come to this club, and uh, which leads to this position. So um, it's a it's an abrupt ending. It's, it's funny. Some of you guys have said, is it, is it going by fast? Well, three months ago, no, it wasn't going by fast. <laughs> but um, then all of a sudden, it's here. You're like, wow. Well, I guess that's part of the emotion. But when you look at the folks in this room and the movers and shakers, and then the opportunity to be in this role, it's just, it's, it's, I didn't realize it, how big it was. It, it, it's a big deal. So thank you. Um, I want my board members to come forward because I have a gift for all the board members. I can quit choking up. Um, <laughs> board members come forward because I have a gift for you. And it's a small token of my appreciation for all the work that you've done and making my life easier this past year for us to be impactful in the community. So you're all getting pretty much a similar thing. So it doesn't matter what bag I give you or Mary Jane, will you help me pass these out to everyone? Um, what's in the bag is some gifts from local local businesses. Um, you got a, a gift card to the mill, most of coffee of the Baptist Children's Home. You've got some uh, peanut brittle or almond brittle from Old North State Candy Factory. So Thomas still made brittle. If you have dentures, give them to someone else. Sam, <laughs> Sam is that you? Yeah. Not you. <laughs> I love <laughs> my <own point>. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to thank Steve. Can you in here? Steve Texas is definitely working. Steve helped me out yesterday by um, there's some jam in there from Morrisville that he has over in the road here, as well as some uh, body scrub. I knew David Stamp would like the body scrub. <laughs> but seriously, board members, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I don't know how other clubs that don't have this type of support, I don't know how the president's making it here. Um, 
but but all of you have been so instrumental and helpful, and I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. I'm um, and and Kim especially and Hope, y'all know y'all on a different level. Everybody's appreciative. I love y'all. Y'all pour your weight, but y'all know board members. Y'all know how much they do, and uh, so thank you. And if I don't shut up, I'm going forever. So that's all I have to say, Miss Kim. If you want to come up, thank you all very much. <laughs> Thank you all. I think that's what you're in front of me means that I did not threaten him more. Good. Um, there's five law the rulers, and I'm going to read some of the things, but I'll tell you what, guys. You know, Mary Jane and I were talking about last week and how we all spread the thing to the room. Said, but you know, we looked around and we love you guys. I mean, Mary Jane said, Could you, I say that all the time. Oh, I just love them. I just love them. Well, I really do. So it's, it's a great honor to be here, and it is an honor to be close in this club. I'm very thankful you for part of that. Mary Jane, if you would come up, we're going to, we're going to get official here. I'm going to stand up here. Okay, Mary Jane, you've been selected by the members of this Rotary Club to guide its affairs for the coming year. You've been entrusted with an important responsibility that will help shape your club's future. It is your year to show the community and our citizens what that Rotary Club is doing. Uh, Mary Jane, you've been selected to the office of President of the Rotary Club of Thomasville by its members, which is an expression of her confidence in your leadership. I want to ask you those. So, open as you would. Can you, Mary Jane Ackerman, solemnly swear that you will faithfully execute the office of president of the Thomas Burr Rotary Club and that you work to the best of your ability to give support and assistance to the district governor and to Rotary International and that you will uphold the constitution and bylaws of this club? Oh, well. I saw you as president of the Thomas Burr Rotary Club. The rest of you guys, I need uh, David Snap, who has agreed to step in as president elect. Doug Hum has some business ob obligations that he just has to step back. So David has uh, agreed to be president again because I didn't threaten him enough that year. Um, David, you'll come on up. Uh, of course, Pope. Okay, my friend, Pope. Jason Tuggle has agreed to be president nominee. You'll come up. You'll be after uh, David. Uh, we have Wayne Underwood on our board. Um, Diana Sullivan is not here. Heather Lewis is new to the board this year. Corey Tobin is new to the board this year. We're glad to have you guys. Tony Bazzini is on the board. Elaine Raven, Doug Hunt, and of course, Jared will be the chairman for this coming year. And you are the, will be the second. Oh, no, we'll be the second. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, this is the installation of the officers. And the board members. You've been elected to the important position for the administration of the Rotary Club of Thomasville. This is an indication of your fellow Rotarians' esteem and confidence in each of you. They also believe you will uphold the traditions of your club, that you will support Mary Jane as club president, and give all that you can to serve the community and to advance the object of Rotary. Will you fulfill the responsibilities of your office to the best of your ability and in accordance with Constitution and bylaws of this club, please confirm by answering I will. I hereby declare the new officers uh, installed to the outgoing board members, Sam Barefoot, and who else was on the. I lost my mind. Uh, anyway, Sam Barefoot, we, we, what's he at? We appreciate everything you do, Sam. All the voice of reason that you bring to us. So thank you all for serving and being an inspiration to your club and to our community. Mm -hmm. It's an hour of <laughs> Um thank you, Kim, and um and thank you, Jared, for everything. Um Jared, if you would um come back again. The first thing I'd like to do 
um, as incoming president is to um, officially thank you um, for the things that you've done. We have plaque for you. Thank you so much. Um, and that, so you don't lose your gavel wall, you just take it on the wall now. <laughs> Um, I, I really appreciate, um, some of the things that you have done for us and you mentioned, um, things that we've accomplished over this past year, but some of you all don't know, but Jared and I have had conversations all year long. We really wanted to make sure that we are consistent and leadership and that we're moving in a direction. And something that Jared talked about even before this past year started is, he wanted to make sure that we are making impact. That was the word that he talked about quite often. And I think that that focus and that emphasis has really made a difference. Um, and one specific thing that I think about is um, a meeting that you all can remember a club assembly where Jared asked us about what are things that we see as needs in our community what are the things you think you want to do? And from that feedback, from the things that you all see in our community, we are going to, we are making some changes. We're moving um, into some areas, focusing more on food insecurity, addressing um, maybe homelessness and affordable housing in our community. And I think that that really makes a difference. It means that we are really vital, we're viable, and we're vibrant as a club. And Jared, I think your leadership has helped us move in that direction. I really am so hopeful that I can continue from that. Um, so, um, so thank you. Next week, we are off for the 4th of July. The week after that, um, we have club assembly, and I, um, hopefully we can start talking about some things that we sort of, what our hopes and dreams are for the next year. I have some things, but we certainly would love to hear from everyone as well. Um, is there anything else for the good of road? Huh? Yes, I, I would like to make sure to bring the kind of way as well. Can yeah, bring it up with you. Um, on behalf of the Thomas of Tourism, there's a little blip in our uh, bulletin about everybody's night. It is a major, huge jump in our tackling of this event this year. So, when hopefully all of you will be asked to help with sponsoring the event, we're going to need that. We are having the prize come this year, and they will play for approximately two hours. Is that correct? So we just remind her so that you're contacting to do what you can to help us. We need the support of community, businesses, the council, everybody in Thomas will make this uh, a, a good event for us. And, and right now, it is progressing that it should be a good event. And it's a uh, Pretty much. Yeah, today. Mm -hmm. And Jason's Jason title, Delta title. And Jason's uh, band will also be playing. Yeah, we'll Anything else? Get to this next slide. Uh, and so with that, um, I would ask you all to stand. <laughs> and as we go forth over the next two weeks, where we may or may not meet each other, hopefully in all that we think, say, or do, let us remember first is <laughs> Well, I mean, I think it's all about